Hey, what is up guys? It's Anik. Welcome to this week's video. And in today's quick tip tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can create these cool looking topographical texture animations right inside of After Effects. And actually these are fairly popular in recent times. So let's get going. Okay, so first of all, if we work with texture animations, I like to use a really big composition. So later on you can still reposition and scale the texture as you like. In this tutorial we'll add a whole bunch of effects on top of each other. I'll go through them fairly quickly as this would take way too long otherwise. So here it goes. First of all create a new solid layer with any color. And as with many effects we again start with the good old fractal noise. You'll want to boost the contrast way up and reduce the brightness a little bit. And don't care about the numbers too much. We can change them and do whatever we want later on anyways. Next we'll add a Gaussian blur or a Fastbox blur or any blur you like really to smoothen out and reduce the complexity. And this one's going to be quite high, about 120, 130-ish. The third effect will be Posterize to flatten the values even more. And the values for this one is really depending on which look you're going for. So mine will be around 10. Next we'll add a Find Edges, which pretty much does what the name says. The next two are a Gaussian Blur of about 5 and a Levels Adjustment to further clamp down the values. To get rid of the background let's add a Shift Channels. Set the Alpha to Luminance and this will get rid of the lines. But obviously we want the lines to be visible and not the background. So we'll add an invert effect and pull it above shift channels. And don't forget to set the channel to luminance as well. Depending on your use case of the texture animation, you can either leave it as is or add a tint effect to get some control over the color. For the most part, this is it for the texture itself. But let's take a look at a few ways to animate it. For starters, we have the possibility to change the posturize values. This results in a look like we are scanning through the terrain. Another way is with a fractal noise, obviously. We can either change the position of the layer itself or the effect's midpoint. A third option, and this is what we're going to do here, is to add a time expression to the evolution of fractal noise. So Alt Option click the stopwatch for evolution and type in time times maybe 30 or something. To give this whole thing a more interesting look, we can add a posterized time as our last effect on the bottom and set this one to about 5 frames per second. And now this is it. And here is a little something for you that I prepared as an exemplary application. On the bottom we have a simple dark background. On top we have our pre-composed texture animation and I added a drop shadow and a gradient ramp to add a little more depth to it. For the rest I have a combination of three layers. The first one of these three is a simple text layer, which I pre-composed as I cycle through different fonts to make it a little more interesting. And in the end I used the same text composition as a mask for our text animation. To make the texture animation pop a little more I added some color control as well as a glow effect. Well, and there you have it. If you came across any problems in the process, hit me up in the comments below and I will get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this quick detour into the world of animated textures. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and ring that bell for a new, few, for a new video every week. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.